guys, just before I get into this video, I want to say this was requested. I didn't do this just out of my free will. I do have the fan on in my background and I do have sniffles because of hay fever. So those are just quick things to note throughout the video. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Panorama Studios YT video. I'm Dog, and today I have been requested to do another one of these. Call of Duty Roblox gameplays. So, I'm literally still level 3. I've not played it since the last video. So let's just go ahead, just enter the game, let's just get on with it. So today I want to talk about what seems to be one of the best maps on Call of Duty because they've got all of the maps combined, which is fucking mint. It's the last map pack on Black Ops 3. It is Revelations. It is absolutely sick by looks of things. But yeah, it's absolutely fucking mint. It looks sick. I've seen like seven live streams on it all together or some crap like that. I've just been binge watching them like crazy. Right, am I on? Oh, no, I'm not. Right, so he's dead. And uh, I think the maps that I know of that are in that actual game are. So I think it's got some Natchda or Natchda, whatever you fucking say it. So I'm just going to say it the way I say it, which is Natchda on top 10. Very first World at War map. Uh, very first Black Ops map, which is um, Kino de Totten, where it's in the theatre. It's got some Origins, which is the last map pack on Black Ops 2. Um, trying to think of what else is in there. Uh, Shangri-La, which is, I think it's a World at War, or Black Ops 1, I'm not entirely sure. No, 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 it's not World at War, it's Black Ops 1, definitely Black Ops 1. Yeah, it's uh, it's either Black Ops One or Black Ops Two actually. See, I'm I'm confused because I don't I've never played Shangri La. And I cannot find no fucking enemies at all. But yeah, I've never played Shangri La, so uh, I'm probably missing out on that one. Can I even crouch on this? Crouch? Yeah, crouch. Okay, can't even get in there. Fantastic. Right, let's carry on. Um, there is some Verrucked, which is the second map pack on Modern War. There's actually quite a few maps in there. And they've combined them all together in a way that you wouldn't have thought of before. And there is one massive Easter egg. And that Easter egg has actually could have possibly been uncovered. Which is pretty sick. You have to... What I've read about is... There we go. You have to kill the Shadow Man, I believe. I think that's what you have to do anyway. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what's been rumoured that you have to do. And you have to set the kids free. Unless that is a fake article anyway, or some shit like that. But either way, it's a fucking crazy map, and it actually looks pretty fucking sick. And to be honest, I really can't wait for it. It's just a bastard though, because I have to watch it. I can't play it at all. The only reason why I can't play it is because I'm on Xbox. And Xbox don't get the map pack till a month later. And the whole thing about Xbox and PS getting exclusives and whatnot. Well basically they said between two games or whatever that we either pick this or we pick that to get DLC or whatnot first. Why not just have them both at the same time? Sorry I'm going on into a little rant here but I just want to quickly get up this off my chest. It's a game, it's made for both consoles, why can't it just release them at the same time? But no, they decided to have it PS first instead because PS bought it or whatever. Anyway, it gets to it, uh, I've got to wait a month and I'm probably going to find out everything to do with the Easter egg and whatnot before it even actually comes out on fucking Xbox. It's kind of a bitch really, because I already know the majority of the uh, Easter egg. And it actually seems like a really easy easter egg, weirdly enough. I'm ju I've just got to find out how to get the others, like, weapons and shit. But it's fucking... It's pretty sick. I can't lie. The easter egg, the map, everything on it is fucking mint. Those, uh, Shadows of Evil, which is the very first map on Black Ops 3, Zombies. Well, it was terrible. No one liked it. Or barely any people liked it at all. So, uh, yeah, that's a complete fuck up on Treyarch's behalf. Some people liked it, but the majority of people just fucking hated it. It wasn't good at all. Oh, 
Oh wait, shit. I didn't realise it was free for all. Right, um I know ain't it's king of the hill. Right, okay. Well, I'm getting it. But yeah. People really did not like Shadows of Evil. Uh, I'm trying to think of the rest of them now. The one with all the uh, spiders and whatnot. Not many people were a big fan of that. Um, any others? Let's try and think. I'm trying to think of the which ones are up. The Eisendrock. That was actually pretty badass. Although I didn't do well for the shit on it. I might actually go back and have a look and complete some easter eggs. Get the bows and shit. I don't know. There's some maps that are great on there. Some pretty shit maps. Uh, Altogether, Black Ops 3 is actually becoming a really fucking good game by the last map pack. But the last map pack is probably going to be the best one. I don't know what multiplayer maps are at. All I've seen is zombies. Just pure fucking zombies. PSN went down at the wrong fucking time as well. They went down to do maintenance when Black Ops 3 map pack came out. It's like, bro, what? It's like, how... How dare they? Like, how do you know if they did that on, um, on uh, Xbox, they would have uh, flipped out like crazy. Now I'm completely surprised at the PSN people because there wasn't as much like hate going towards PSN and whatnot because of the maintenance. Everyone was thinking, oh, it's Poodle Court. Black Ops Three just came out, didn't it? This, that, and the other, but. People didn't actually check and have a look that it was PS that did it themselves. So that was a bit weird on everybody else's behalf. But, um, yeah. Altogether, Black Ops 3 map pack actually looks fucking sick. Weirdly enough, it's the best one. It's got loads of old maps put in together. It's got the original four players. It's still got Rick Toffin, it's still got Nikolai, Tank Dempster, and I've never... Un I don't know the Japanese guy's name, I've never knew it. Like, um... Takashi or something? I don't even know. It sounded like I was trying to say Takeshi's Castle then. But, um... Yeah, I've no idea what the guy's name is. Takio or something like that. Takio, I'm sure it's something like that. I don't even know. What the hell? As if he's not dead yet. Thank you. But other than that, that's all I really know. It is looking like the best map that has ever come to Call of Duty though. The way they've laid it out is weird because they've not kept the exact original of each map. But it does look sick. Either way, it looks fucking mint. Because they've uh, merged them together as well. At like, certain points, they just stick them together. It's like, yes mate, what the fuck is this? Oh, we've got Mob of the Dead going into Shangri-La. We've got... Uh, Shangri-La going into like Varukt or some shit like that. Or oh, Mob of the D Mob of the Dead's in it. Yeah, there you go. That's one I completely forgot about. Mob of the Dead. But yeah, it's it's crazy. If you've never played Zombies before on any of the other games, then when you get into areas like Nacht on Totten, on Totten, Nacht on Totten, whatever. I don't know how the fuck you say it. Uh, it's crazy that's the first place it's where the rewards are that is the first ever map on any call of duty zombies if you never played it before you'll be in for a surprise to be honest it is and then you've got Kino, which is the first one on black ops 1 which is the second game they released it's, it's mad i love call of duty zombies it's just a shame that um some of them like advanced warfare just went to total shit really but yeah, that's been it for the video. I just wanted to talk about the Black Ops 3, like, quickly. In the next video, I could possibly talk about how you actually do the Easter egg, or what's, like, cons what a conspiracy is about it. Because there is a thing on the internet, like, showing how to do it or whatnot. So, I can actually try and bring that out for you, and you can try it yourself. Just let me know if you actually want that. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. It's been Fat Dog, and peace out.